Time Bank believes in a banking future with more for every entrepreneur. Start paying less and getting more with Time Bank. You've got this. Mobile technology has changed the way companies function and interact with the consumer. For operations with hundreds or even thousands of devices and SIMs to manage, combating data and airtime spend can be costly. This brings the question on how SMEs can implement effective mobile device management strategies. Welcome to Small Business Evolution. I am Nunto Bego Kumete and joining me in studio to help us understand what mobile device management is all about is the CEO of Mint Solutions, Danielle Afriat. Welcome, Danielle. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. Can you please just break down what mobile device management is all about? Because most people don't get to hear about this terminology often. Absolutely. So mobile device management is short, is um, a technology or a software that in essence allows you to control all of the settings and security policies on a mobile device. So typically, um, if a company has moved away from paper-based ways of working and has selected any type of software or any type of mobile applications that they want to run on a mobile device, and they don't want their um, employees to use a mobile device like an ordinary consumer device, but they want to um, take control over, over that device and turn it into a single purpose work tool. The software really enables you over the air to uh, restrict certain settings or to block certain settings that would impact the ability of that device to work the way that a company needs it to work for that particular job or task that an employee needs to do. So really it gives you the ability to track devices anywhere in the world. Um, it enables you to push the right version of a software automatically in real time over thousands of devices. Um, and it also enables you to control the environment in which an application works to make sure that that application that you're using is always working the way that it should. Sort of like a, a micromanaging tool um, that just keeps track of every single thing that takes place in and out of the company. Absolutely. It seems like it's a, it's, a, it's a great approach for larger companies, especially since they have the budget for it. What are some of the benefits for smaller companies such as your SMEs? So we deal um, qu you know, quite, frank, uh, quite frequently with, uh, with small businesses. So businesses like plumbers or service, uh, you know, service technicians or field technicians where um, you know, once you become, in, you know, once you become completely reliant on a mobile application and you move away from paper, you need to make sure that all of those steps and processes are being done. So even for smaller businesses who are, are using critical uh, software for their operations, they want to make sure that their employees, uh, either out of, um, you know, ignorance, aren't, aren't turning off settings that are critical for that application to run, or just want the peace of mind that they know where everybody is at a, at a point in time and that those employees can't abuse those devices or can't abuse the data doing things that they shouldn't be doing um, to enable them really to focus on work. And with that comes huge cost savings where there's massive reductions in wasted costs. There's control over those devices and more importantly, there's uptime on those applications that are so important for them to do their job. How did you find yourself in the space of having to teach small business owners about um, uh, mobile device management? Um, so I think the journey really uh, started um, many, many years ago where um, I, I had the privilege of working in a software development company. Um, that particular company developed software for the logistics industry and was one of the first companies in South Africa to create um, what's called on-road execution software, um, particularly for deliveries, helping companies better um, watch and track their drivers uh, to ensure that they could get uh, you know, efficiencies and, and understand that customers were getting the right service for those deliveries. And so what happened was we knew that we had the best software and we were, and there was nothing wrong with the software, but what started to happen is when we handed that software over to customers 
and they were using their own uh, outdated mobile device technology or they, uh, for example, you had a driver who was running on prepaid airtime and then suddenly ran out of airtime and now had millions of rands worth of stock stuck on the side of the road because he couldn't route to his next delivery. Um, all of those things really impacted the application working the way that it should. And so over the span of you know, seven years, we realized that there were critical pieces of a puzzle that companies really need when they've become application dependent. So one was around the right hardware choices and choosing um, the right mobile devices with the right specs. Um, another component was really clamming down on, on the behavior of that device and making sure that that application sits in an ideal environment to operate, which is really where the mobile device management technology comes in. And then with regards to data, finding better solutions or better ways of being able to offer data that um, remove downtime and remove runaway costs that companies often have. So we almost piece together what we call this integrated mobile solution that really, um, that really looks at where downtime happens in an operation and provides a single solution to combat a lot of those challenges. Now, Danielle, with over 250 um, mobile device management tools out there, yes. what, what should SMEs consider when choosing an MDM solution out there in the market? So I think it's a very good question. Um, from our perspective, uh, there's no shortage of, of MDMs out there. Typically, a lot of MDM um, companies will sell an MDM license. So you get keys to a vehicle, but then you need to have a qualified driver that knows yes. what to do with that vehicle. So getting the keys and finding the right solution, which I'll get to in a minute, is, is sort of one part of the equation. Um, the second part of the equation is being able to have the skill sets internally within your business uh, to be able to manage the configuration and ongoing configuration of that technology within your mobile environment. Because every time Google releases an update or every time app developers release updates, you've got to keep reconfiguring that profile. And that takes a lot of skill, a lot of knowledge, because there's no uh, typical a manual or there's no university that's going to teach you how to do that. You've almost got to be on all these forums, you've got to be understanding white papers, you've got to be aligning yourself to that. So I think first and foremost you've got to ask yourself do we have the skills either internally or externally to manage the MDM and based on that you can then go back to the decision of what MDM solution is going to give us the ability not just to choose the right technology for our business but also um, has got the support capability to enable us to utilize that tool to the best of its ability. Our preference generally is not to use software um, that sits at a, what's called an OS level, that sits at a level of um, the operating uh, system. We've partnered specifically in our business with the actual device manufacturers who have created their own mobile device management solutions. And the reason for that is there's really great uh, research and development that's happening all the time. And the second component is that it cannot be factory reset. So you don't have a scenario which unfortunately typically happens in our country where uh, devices are stolen on a regular basis and then that individual might go to um, some strange a dodgy store down the road to try and flash that device or to do all sorts of things to be able to sort of take it home or, or sell it on a secondary market. Um, our preference is to have MDM solutions that are embedded at hardware level so that it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, those devices are rendered useless. Well, thank you very much, Danielle, for just breaking it down for us and making it more simpler for our viewers that are watching this evening. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. That was the CEO of Mint Solutions, Danielle Afriat, giving insight to mobile device management and how it lowers costs and increases productivity for SMEs. Time Bank believes in a banking future with more for every entrepreneur. Start paying less and getting more. With Time Bank, you've got this.